What is up guys, the Strong Boys 19 here. This is unfortunately the first tribute video of the year. And this one goes out to a musician who we've just lost tonight. And even though that I don't know too much about him, he has to be talked about very briefly. And I'm sure that fans of this band, like myself, would dedicate their appreciation and support for this band and this musician. Paul Wiley, the drummer from one of the very, very earliest heavy metal sounding bands, Blue Cheer, has passed away today at the age of 72 due to a heart attack during his sleep. I really cannot believe this. I mean, Blue Cheer is, to me, one of the bands, unlike Black Sabbath, and the sound of some Led Zeppelin that really was shaping a very distorted, loud, and mean sound of hard rock that would become the very pioneering and huge sound of heavy metal. And Blue Cheer is one of those bands that was involved in that early stages of the genre. And even though that Blue Cheer is still hugely um, overlooked, I think they deserve so much more recognition and respect. Paul's drumming throughout Blue Cheer's career was absolutely brilliant. He's, he's not like the other drummers with their own unique style of playing, like Ginger Baker to John Bonham and Keith Moon. Paul had his own drumming style uh, when he's on the kit and he makes up some really great beats that gives it a lot of punch and attack to the sound of Blue Cheer's music. I don't have uh, a lot of Blue Cheer in my collection yet, but I'm going to play Outside Inside, which is one of my all-time favourite albums in honour of Paul Whaley. I really do like his drumming style, a unique one in his own way, and I think he's really underrated, super underrated in fact, that I think you should check out Blue Cheer and listen to his style of drumming besides the amazing, buzzy, um, loud, raw sound from the instrumentation. And uh, he was with another band called the Oxford Circle which I have not heard of, but uh, Blue Cheer was the band that he's uh, more famous for. And, and it's, it just says right here that he was the longest standing member in Blue Cheer uh, than Dickie Peterson, who had passed a few years ago now. So, I just can't believe this. This is horribly unexpected. Let me know what you think of Blue Cheer as a band and Paul as a drummer in the comments below. If you have not heard of Blue Cheer, I highly recommend them. Thank you guys for watching and I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.